Hi guys, it's Tara from Butterfly Candy and this is my review of Via E, the Alexa Stall. And here she is in her meat outfit. She arrives just like this and she has a pink top on that features a very cute cat graphic print. She has a short denim skirt and very tall boots. I think they're kind of like a um, suede almost with some fraying on them. She also comes with this adorable backpack handbag that has a lot Alex on it, which is her nickname in the books, and that's what most people call her in the books. And she is absolutely gorgeous right out of the box. This is how she arrives. So let's take a more detailed look at her and kind of compare her to American Girl as well. So let's get to it. All right, so here is Alexis wearing American Girl clothing. This is a dress that American Girl still has. So let's review how well she can wear American Girl items. Now she is a little bit skinnier in the waist, but I think that it's not that big of a difference. And so, it still looks really good on her. She also has adorable feet and she can fit American Girl size shoes. So yes, she can definitely wear American Girl clothing. So then here is the outfit she came in. Alexis came in this outfit. Um, this is her outfit on the American Girl doll. This is my beautiful doll Jade. Um, American Girl is a little bit chubbier so it fits a little bit tighter but it looks like it is also made for American Girl dolls as well. Um, the skirt is velcro and then it has a little bit of elastic in the waistband as well, making it very easy for it to fit a range of different waist sizes. The boots didn't fit as well. I'll show you the boots really quick. So here is the boots. I, I did try them on Jade. There were a couple issues. She has shorter legs and so it went too far up on her leg. It went almost to the skirt. So I didn't feel that that was um, a good look. And then also her calf is a bit thicker than Alexis. So it only, the zipper only made it to about here. So I would say no to the boots that Alexis comes in, but she does fit really nicely and the other items that Alexis comes in. So I would say that their clothing is interchangeable and they actually look really cute in each other's clothing. I will put Alexis in one more American Girl outfit so that you can get more of an idea of how the fit is. All right, so here is Alexis in the Real Me outfit. I chose this outfit because I feel like this is an outfit that a lot of American Girl doll collectors are familiar with. It used to be the outfit that the My American Girl dolls arrived in. So the pants are a little baggy on her. In the back, right here you can see quite a bit of room so they could easily fall off, but they, you know, it makes it a lot easier for them to go on. But I would say she's too small in the waist for pants. And I think the shirt, I think the shirt fits pretty well, um, especially in the length of her arms. So I think overall the shirt 
and dresses um, work really well if you need clothes for your Alexis doll but not so much pants so that is my review on does she fit American Girl clothing and does her clothing fit American Girl dolls all right so here is Alexis unclothed and I wanted to just kind of do a review of all of her articulation and detailing which she has a lot of so the first part I really really love this is my favorite part of her articulation is her neck area she can tilt her head down she can tilt her head up and then of course side to side and it probably can go all the way back yeah so creepy but yeah she can do that too and she has beautiful eyes, just absolutely gorgeous. I would say they're like turquoise green, uh, very pretty aqua color, love it. She does have a bit of blush on her cheeks. She has the feathered painted um, eyebrows. She does have the sleeping, sleeping eye, open and closed doll eyes, which is my favorite. Um, they're pretty nice. Um, her glass, her eyes look like they're glass eyes. I don't know if they are or not, but they look to be like a either like a really shiny plastic or glass eyes. They're beautiful, and I love her long black eyelashes. She's a very cute little pointy nose, and she is in a smiling. Uh, she has a smiling face, which is kind of a difficult thing to do on dolls because. You're kind of like not only does your mouth smile, but like your whole face smiles. So if you do it wrong, it can it can look really weird. But I think they did a really nice job. Um, she looks very friendly and very welcoming. So I really like her face overall and her neck joint. She has um, articulation in her elbows. Um, it's not really a lot. I mean, it's definitely more than the American Girl doll, which doesn't have any elbow joint at all so she can bend her arm up so she can be like can I have some too um, but it doesn't really hold the elastic in her joint doesn't really hold the pose but you can move it so um, there is a little bit of limitations with that I do love how they have painted her fingernails with a French manicure she has a little French tip white um, paint on the very tips and it's very cute and she has a little bit of blush on the top of her hand so it kind of looks like she's been tan right there um, she has a very simple round um, circle for her belly button and she does have an arm joint up here but it's mostly for up and down not outwards so she can't really go out then for her legs, this joint by her hip is a lot like American Girl, where she has this kind of motion. And then she has a knee joint, which is different than American Girl dolls. American Girl dolls don't have any. And it's a lot like the elbow, where it can move quite a bit, but it doesn't hold. So as soon as you release it, it goes right back. Um, it does hold um, if you twist it. If you wanted to twist the leg, it goes like that. And her feet are my favorite part. She can leave footprints in sand and things because her foot is so realistic on the bottom. It's so cute. And again, she has a French manicure on her little toesies and blush on the top of her feet and the top of her toes. So really cute detailing on the feet. I love it. Her hair is right past her hip area and it's super, super shiny and it's super soft. It is nylon fiber, which I believe is very different from American Girl dolls. Um, just so it's a lot different texture and then it is rooted instead of wigged so that's what it would lo it looks like all right so let's take a look at her ears she has pretty cute ears 
pretty similar to American Girl ears, but they're pretty cute. Just enough detailing to look realistic. She stands really well on her own. So overall, a really beautiful doll. I do love her in my American Girl doll collection. She's been getting along really well with the other girls, and they just love her. And um, yeah, so I really hope you like this review. If you'd like to check out their website, the link is down below. And there is right now a special promotion for free shipping on the purchase of a Alexis doll. So I will put that information in the About section as well for you to check that out. Um, I definitely suggest the doll. She is really easy to clean. She can be submerged in water. Um, there's just a lot of benefits to this doll. And let me get her dress and I'll start talking about other things about her. All right, so she also has a lot of really fun books and activities for young girls. One of the things I love is this CD. She has her own song. And, let's see, it is called Just As Long As I Believe. So, motivational song for girls. And she has a karaoke disc, and it has four levels. It has I Believe listening track. Then it has um, vocal, beginner karaoke, um, intermediate, and then advanced karaoke. So, it has different levels for you to learn the song, which girls love to sing, so... That's pretty cool that they thought of that. And she also came with this clothing activity booklet. And as you collect outfits from Via E, you can put the little postcard in here. Then I also got this 10 Acts of Kindness book and she is featured in the book. It's really super cute. The other books that she has is Our Spooky Story, The Magic of Christmas Snow, and My Summer Vacation in the Amazon. So a little bit about her. She um, is originally from San Clemente, California, but she lives with her family now in San Paulo, Brazil. And her father is an adventure journalist writer, so she has tons of adventures. But this book in particular is really sweet. It is about 10 acts of kindness, and it kind of starts off with um, her um, talking to her mom, and her mom kind of giving her advice to try to do 10 things that are kind for people kind of people during her day. So that is her goal for the day, and it's really cute to see how she comes up with 10 ways to go out of her way for some for somebody which is really sweet and the whole book features butterflies which I absolutely love it's pretty cool so there's the butterfly and then it even has I'll try to do it here but it has this really cool um, flip thing I don't know, hopefully you can see that, but that's pretty cool. And then it also has 10 Acts of Kindness activity book. It includes activities, coloring, journal, and reader's guide. So really cool, great idea for summer learning. So a lot of fun with this doll and a lot of learning that can go on for the doll as well. She does have, um, on the website, there is a lot of different accessories and clothing. I will show a couple photos from that that I really like, some of the outfits I really like on there. And of course they do fit American Girl dolls, except for the boots. I don't know if the boots would really fit, but the other clothing fits really well, as you can see on Jade. I really, really enjoy this doll in my collection. I hope that you guys um, also really like Alexis, and I know all of her new sisters really enjoy her company. 
And so thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you have any questions at all, please leave your questions down below and I will try to answer them for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this review and have a great day.